Power World, the absolute talk of the town right now in the gaming world. The thing has like 8 million sales. It had like 2 million concurrent players on Steam. It is dominating over on the Xbox Game Pass. This thing just came out swinging as a juggernaut when nobody really thought it was a juggernaut. In fact, it was an incredibly small dev team. Now, with success comes a lot of hate and comes a lot of things to talk about when it comes to that stuff. And I feel that it is a perfect time to revisit a topic that I talked about about when the rings of power came out no i didn't watch the rings of power but this is something very important so let's get into power world the controversy the things that are being said and overall the things that i really think that we need to understand as a society with our entertainment again ladies and gentlemen my name is royce welcome to a drink with crazy and if you guys like what i do here don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell so, like I said, since last week, Pow World has been dominating. Everybody is covering it. My wife and I are playing it. We're playing it on stream. If you guys watch this video when it's uploaded, my wife and I will be playing the game here shortly. However, one of the things that I'm seeing, people are constantly talking about taking these pals in the game and turning them into slaves. And then PETA is talking about how they don't agree with, you know, eating the animals and there should be vegan options and this, that, and the other thing. And so many people out there who despise entertainment that is disconnected from reality, I believe are mentally ill. And what I mean by that is I believe that there is something missing inside of their brains that they cannot disconnect fantasy from reality. For some reason, they look at everything as real, everything as happening in the real world. I'm sorry, I do not equate Pow World or Pokemon for that matter as like Michael Vick, right? Everybody remembers that guy? He had like an underground freaking pit bull fighting ring. Yeah, that guy's a monster. People who play Pow World are not. And what's the difference? Well, the difference is, is some people are interacting with lines of code and some people are interacting with real life animals and absolutely hurting them. Again, there is a massive difference between interacting with lines of code and a fantasy world in your mind as something to just kind of have fun with. No, you're not actually abusing an animal. No, there's nothing like that. There is no slavery in the game because it's lines of code. You're using the lines of code as something was intended to be used. And it was intended to be used as a way to just escape the world for a brief minute. Again, going back to my original point is that they, they can't separate reality from fantasy. And the problem with this as I see it, is when you cannot separate those two things, you inherently corrupt them both. Because what you believe is that you believe things that are made up in your own mind now affect the real world and should affect the real world. In fact, people make things up in their own head all the time and then try to go get legislation passed in order to have that thing that's made up in their own mind affect the real world. They then turn around and say creations that people create that are totally made up in their head well, we, we can't have that. We have to ban that because that affects me in the real world when nothing could be further from the truth. And this is something that needs to be hammered on more and more. We need to point out that people are struggling to separate fantasy from reality, right? For instance, I mean, if you read any of Tolkien's work, I said this in the Tolkien video, Tolkien very much believed that there was a separation between fantasy and reality. He was actually somewhat appalled by people wanting to have hobbit weddings and this, that, and the other thing. He's like, no, he goes, my book is a fairy story. It has nothing to do with the real world and it shouldn't be injected into the real world and the real world shouldn't be injected into my stories. He didn't like allegory at all. He's famous for saying that. And yet here we are yet again with another property. People talking about real world things in a fantasy world specifically designed to get you away from the real world for just a little bit. But again, I believe that a certain section of the population lacks the ability, lacks the cognitive capability, and it might not just be physiological, it might be physical. There might be a piece to the brain that is larger or smaller that causes them to not recognize that there are things that don't exist and they only exist in the mind and thusly we should not try to interact with those in the outer real world ladies and gentlemen i get it 
Power World is blowing up. People are probably tired of hearing about it, but I wanted to take a second to talk about this because it comes up time and time again, and I want to hammer that drum. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, I read all of my comments every single week on Sunday Coffee. It's a live stream that I do at 11 a.m. Central on Sundays. So if you guys have to weigh in, have something to say to weigh in on this, or you disagree with me, let me know what you guys think down below about people not being able to disassociate reality from fantasy and vice versa. And I hope to see you all there on the live stream. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, cheers, everybody.